Hello, scholars. Let's talk about a compass. This thing in my hand that orients to Earth's magnetic field, which is incredibly valuable, really useful to know where you're going without having any other information. Before GPS technology and our phones just told us, please make a left here, turn right, recalculating, recalculating. Nope, we needed a map and a compass in order to get ourselves from place to place. So in this lecture, I just want to briefly introduce what a compass is and what is the anatomy of a compass. <clears throat> so this thing right here is a compass wildly important for navigation. It's great. I love the compass. <sighs> compass can be the difference between life and death. So in today's day and age, I've got a smartwatch. In fact, my watch is pretty fancy, right? But I can put topographic maps on my watch. It connects to GPS. Also on my phone, I have mapping apps on my phone that connect to GPS. So I never go into the wilderness without my GPS technology. I load up the maps before I go. I know where I'm going. I take a backup power sources. But also, I always make sure I have a compass because if those did die or break or whatever, I could still make my way around with the handy dandy compass. So this is a basic life saving tool that you should always have when going to the outdoors. So parts of a compass. We've got the base plate. Base plate is the bottom clear part that you can see the map through. Let's see, we've got the rotating bezel, this piece right here that actually rotates around. This is how you set your direction and follow it. We have a magnetic needle that always points towards magnetic north which is awesome. This is the magic of the compass. We have the orienting arrow, which helps us to pick a direction and navigate in it. We've got the orienting lines. These are useful for taking bearings on your map. The index line for setting your compass direction, and then a declination adjustment, which we should talk about right now. Magnetic declination. So we have cardinal directions. Ah, give me one second while I put my compass away. So we have cardinal directions. North, east, south, west. Now this true north aligns with the North Pole. So on a Mercator projection, lat and long. Every line of longitude points to true north. But the magnetic north pole doesn't align with the geographic north pole. Who would have thought? What the heck? It's actually off a little bit. <clears throat> and because it's off, right, so let me draw an earth. There's the equator. So if here is the geographic North Pole, which everywhere on Earth points north to, the magnetic North Pole is out here floating somewhere in space. And so based on where you are, that declination, the difference between geographic North or true North, and magnetic north, what do they call it on here? What do I got, what do I got? Ge uh, true north, true north, uh, true north, got it. True north and magnetic north. The angle between these two is gonna be your declination. How do you know your declination is? What the heck? Well, for current up-to-date information, you go to magnetic-declination.com. That's what I do when I go somewhere. Or if you have a map, the map might say it, but declination changes. So unless your map is October 2023, then it could be wrong. So it's on the map, yes, but if you need to know your declination, 
please go to magneticdeclination.com. It takes two seconds, and you'll have accurate, up-to-date information. So what do we do with this map and compass? Wilderness navigation. This is a teammate of mine navigating. He's got a wrist compass. He's got a base plate compass. He's got a map in his hand. And with these things, you can get yourself from place to place. You can move through unmarked natural environments, forests, mountains, deserts, wilderness areas. This is crucial for any outdoors person who wants to spend time in the outside. And it's fun. It's more than just survival. It's literally fun. I go places, that it's the sport of orienteering, where it's racing with map and compass. I do these races called adventure races, where there's no marked courses, there's no GPS. You have to navigate with map and compass. So to say it's a lost art, the compass, is a lost and dying art. Maybe you could say that. I think there are plenty of opportunities for you as an individual to enjoy this amazing phenomenon of Earth about tying into Earth's magnetic field so you can move across landscapes with the knowledge of your surroundings, of the features, using maps and a compass to get you where you need to go. So this is a little discussion on the compass. I hope that it inspires you to find a compass, use a compass, and maybe go explore with a compass. Thank you.